Hello, welcome to another Writerly Witterings, and this time, because somebody asked me, I'm going to be reviewing a pencil. How exciting. Here we go, the Otto Pro Mecca. As any people who know me will know, I do like pens and pencils. This is one of my favourites for fine detailed work. It is the Super Pro Mecca 0.5 and it's a pencil I got I guess three or four years ago when I had a need for something that didn't keep stabbing me. There's one thing I cannot stand is when I carry a pencil in my shirt pocket and you always have the um, lead protector and these things can be sharp and I've I bought this because I stabbed myself twice in one week with this, putting it into my shirt pocket. It hurts, and I thought, I'm fed up with that. I want a pencil where the sharp bit is actually retracted so you don't get injured. Minor detail. So I bought this pencil, and you can see it's had a fair degree of use. It's The brass is showing here, where I've worn away the metal. And I use it all the time because it is a delightful, delightful pencil. I've tried all sorts of different ones. My daughter's pinched a couple of them, but this she is not having because I really, really like it. So what is there about this pencil? Well, I really like the fact that you can undo this knurl here, and if you want to, you can remove the pocket clip. It's not something I want to do all the time, but you can do. It holds leads, as you'd expect, Underneath the rubber at the back, which is uh, fully effective, you have a needle for helping you when a lead gets stuck in the feed. Never has, but it could happen. You've got a hole for your spare leads, which is jolly useful. Again, pretty much the same as you'd expect with any reasonable quality pencil. A little touch I do like is that in the cap here, you can set exactly what the hardness is of the lead that you've got inside it so that you always keep a, a record of exactly what it is you've got in there. So that's the top end. I really like the fact that you can retract the lead, um, the lead feed. That makes it much more practical, I find. And then there's this little adjuster here. And that adjusts how much lead is pushed out for every time you press the button. So if I just give an example here, you can see you're getting tiny increments of lead coming through. If this gets adjusted up all the other way, you can see that the lead comes through considerably faster. So I th think that this lead is actually getting a bit short and so I'll have to put some more lead in in a minute. But you can see that's coming through at, I would imagine that's two to th three millimeters of lead at a time. Now for me, that's far too much. So I would have it turned almost all the other way and then it comes out in a much, much smaller amount so that I would think is nearer a half a millimeter at a time much much more slowly but that way it means that you can get a tiny amount of lead and then because I'm quite a hard writer I'm far less likely to break the lead because I've pushed out too much um, it's a slightly strange feel because it's got this very heavy grip section at the front. But it, the rest of the pen pencil is really very, very light. So it, it does feel quite downwards heavy. If I try to balance it, it does balance about there. So the balance is distinctly forward. But it does write very comfortably. It's a very nice pen to use, pencil to use. It has these little patches of rubber O-ring. I have not the faintest idea what purpose they serve, to be honest. But 
it doesn't detract from the feel of it. The main part of the feel is how it is down at the front. That's a very good pencil to use. And I can use this for extended periods without getting tired at all. Possibly because it is so heavy towards the front end. It's clearly brass with a silver coating. As you can see, where, as I said earlier, where the brass is coming through, the coating's rubbing off. But I think that just adds to the look and the feel of the pencil. I think it's an absolutely wonderful pencil to use. I can recommend these to anyone. Um, this one cost me, I think, somewhere in the region of 16 quid, which is a lot of money for a pencil, especially when you've got access to lots of other delightful pencils like these. These are my favourite generally, Tombows from Japan. Very, very comfortable to use. Lovely wooden pencils beautifully well made lovely enamel paint on them so they always feel nice and they come completely unfinished so you have to start them off which i think is actually rather nice too i like using different pencil sharpeners um, with all different grades of uh, angle on the cut and these are great however for general fine detailed work this is the one i, I will always go to because it is just a superb pencil really good to carry around with me all the time and it's great for sketching great for technical drawing great for any type of work really so there you go the octo super pro mecha 0.5 so there you have it the octo super pro mecha 0.5 an absolutely brilliant pencil thoroughly recommend it um i got this one from cult pens again they don't pay me to say it they don't pay me at all actually but um I bought it from them because they're a local firm. I like to support local firms. There you go. Uh, if you'd like to put in a comment, if you've got any ideas for other things we can talk about, put in the comments down the bottom there. Um, don't forget, like it, share it, do all those other good things. Tell your family and friends. It's a brilliant website uh, channel on YouTube to come and watch. And thanks a lot for that. And I'll see you soon. Cheers.